All right, calculus AV. I'm going to go over the uh, syllabus. Um, so, uh, the top here has my name, has my school phone number extension, which I rarely, I can't, I don't know, checking the voicemails a pain, but you can, I guess, try and call it and I'll answer if I'm there. This is my cell phone. You can call text. <clears throat> and this is my school email, which we use for communications. Um, this is the textbook that we use that you'll get a version checked out to you from the library. And uh, here's just a little rundown of our course. So this course is designed for advanced math students and instructors so that students may take the college board's advanced placement exam and calculus for possible college credit talks topics include a review of pre-calculus topics first three units limits the derivative and its applications the interval and its applications and logarithmic and exponential function so the whole point of well part of the point of taking this class is so that you can get college credit where i'm going to teach this class the level of a college course We'll probably cover the material in a similar amount of time as a college course. This would be a semester long college course, but we're going to finish all this, all the material for the AP test, uh, by the end, by the end of February. Um, or yeah, end of February, March, end of March. And, uh, but we're not going to really start doing calculus intensely until October. So you got October, November, half of December, half of January, that's three months, February, March, maybe five months. So I don't know, maybe, like close to a semester long course. And then we'll get really ready for the AP test, practice test, practice test, practice test, review, 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 and get great scores. Uh, instructional methods, lectures, experiments, guided practice, unit projects, practice AP exam questions, technology, instruction with graphing calculators, instruction and test taking skills, test divided into calculator and non-calculator sections, math tutoring lab. Instructional strategies, mastery, learning, instruction. What that means is I want you to get really good at this. And when you do it the first time, you probably won't <clears throat> be totally as good at. It. So you'll get another opportunity to master it. Retest would be a key uh, tool in that. All students can learn, but at different rates, multiple opportunities for success. Again, retest, review sessions off of prior exams and retakes. I'll generally have tutoring morning and afternoon uh, sessions to try and accommodate your guys' schedules, sports, jobs, whatever. Team building activities, like, you know, I don't know, canned food drive or something. Uh, math history unit and project after the AP exam. Assessment of methods and strategies. Students tested on units of instruction every two to three weeks. <clears throat> Tests are geared to AP topics and skills, including algebraic, graphical, and tabular approaches. So all the things I'm gonna teach you how to do on the AP test will have to be, you'll have to be able to do them from different information and with different tools, maybe just a picture of a graph, maybe a formula. Maybe something that you would have to use a calculator on, uh, or maybe just a table of values. Students must complete unit projects geared to AP type questions and enrichment. Students have multiple opportunities to su succeed and can take, and then if all assignments corrective have been completed, retake unit exams with a 90% maximum, which is probably as high or higher than you've experienced in previous math classes. But, and that's the mastery thing. I, I, you know, I'll have students who even get over 90 who want to retest because I'll, I'll tell you at the end of the uh, semester, I'm going to give you one of those retests full credit if you have any over 90. Plus, <clears throat> the better you can do on retest, which we're going to generally do in class, so you might as well do it, um, the better you're going to do in the next chapter. And it all is going to go towards the AP test in May. Grading skill, typical. Grade weighting, simple, 90% are units, unit exams. So that 90% max on retest is gonna be critical for you getting a good score in this class. 10% is for all the other stuff, projects, quizzes, warmups, assignments, you're gonna be 10%. Now in a regular college course, it is possible that your test could be 100% of your grade, but I think 90% is a pretty good, pretty good, uh, now we're gonna have uh, six to seven exams per per semester. 
and um, the 10% party category is, uh, you, there are extra credit um, just for going to the uh, study groups, office hours, uh, tutoring. Um, if you just show up, I'll give you some extra credit. It goes into that category. There's a cap of 105% in the participation category. Um, might as well max that out if you can. Uh, student requirements, students will need a notebook, graphing calculator, TI 83 plus 84 is what I will generally be using in class, but you can use other higher level TIs or other brands. You might just have to look up some of the functions on your own, but I think that's very reasonable to do. Um, make sure that the calculator you buy is allowed on the AP test, so you don't have to get a different one for the AP test. Generally, anything that can have internet connectivity, Bluetooth, uh, you know, Wi-Fi is not going to be allowed. <clears throat> So uh, calculus is a rigorous honors course with a strong tradition at AGHS. Students are expected to attain a level of excellence that will push them to master the basics of calculus, utilize the latest technology, develop a power and appreciation for the power and beauty of mathematics, and work as a team to pass AP exam. We're all working together towards these goals. Feel free to contact me by phone and email. Also, second semester, as we're getting ready for the AP test, I'm going to ask you to attend 12 hours of study groups or practice tests outside of regular class time in the six to seven weeks leading up to the AP exam. So if you spread that out, that's um, just a couple hours a week uh, doing something that you might do anyways during the regular portion of the year, uh, just coming to study groups and trying to, where we get homework done, where we, you know, Help you get ready for tests. Um, just a quick uh, calculation of your grade. Just to give you an example, uh, let's say you had an 88% test average, okay, and then you had 105% uh, participation because you really wanted to max that out. How would you calculate your grade? Well, the the fact that this is this is nine parts of your grade. 90%, this is one part of your grade, 10%, one 10%, nine 10%. What you could do is multiply this by nine, nine times 88, nine times eight, 72, carry the seven, 72, 79. And so then you have a 79, uh, 792 plus the 105 equals 89.7, 89.7%. So that, uh, that homework could get you an extra 2% towards getting that A, even if your test average after retests is a B plus. So some of you guys are going to want to take advantage of that ahead of time. At the end of the semester, you're not going to be able to come to me and say, what can I do to raise my grade 1%? Now I'm going to look at your homework and say, well, you should have done your homework. So uh, that's a quick run through of the syllabus. And... Um, I look forward to this year and, uh, you know, we're going to have a great successful year.